let me say someone is kind of distressed you find like people are on the low mm -hmm. yeah okay yeah so and then hyper now causes the unexpected ah, yeah. the, the hormones yeah when there's hyper you find out the hormones are produced at a very higher rate so there's higher there's a higher functioning of the thyroid gland mm -hmm. when there's higher functioning of the di the hyper function of the thyroid gland then it causes you to find like uh, the normal functioning now they are hyper like nice. this tachycardia, the heart is beating too fast. Okay. You find like you're sweating too much. You find there's this diarrhea, the gastro function is too fast. You find like you're diarrheaing, you're sweating, you're always nervous. Now you find like your body is hyper now. All right, yeah. wow. So it can, it can go both ways. Yeah, both ways. You can cause some inactivity in your body or an excess. Yeah, you know? sure. So, and this is just a small thing that would <laughs> cause some, a lot of changes yeah, in, sure. in your body. That's why we need to really um, understand it and take mm -hmm. caution, mm -hmm. right? So now, uh, you know, what cause, okay, we have talked about the causes. So mm -hmm. the, is the cause only uh, by the salt intake that we have in no, our diet? No, that's the major cause. Uh, the major cause is the le less intake of iodine. Mm -hmm. So you see when iodine now is, is uh, the supply of iodine in the blood is less. No, the thyroid function not function normally. Mm. And also it can be a result of uh, the other conditions, mi minor conditions that can result to us like that. So I can begin with one condition mm -hmm. that is called Hashimoto's disease. Okay. It's maybe well, it's not known. It, For the Hashimoto's it? disease, uh -huh. you find like there are nodules that grow inside the thyroid gland. Mm. So when the nodules grow inside the thyroid gland, they now tend to, to impair the functioning of the thyroid gland. When they tend to grow now, they become these these are multinodular when they are many. So when you find that the nodules grow inside the thyroid gland, they tend to enlarge. So now this will now affect the thyroid gland. There's also it's an autoimmune autoimmune disease, mm -hmm. meaning that it's just generated by the body. Okay. And also you can find there's a disease that is called uh, the Graves disease. The what? Graves. Graves, like G R A V. Yeah, yeah Graves, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. What disease is that? <laughs> so in this disease, you find that uh, the body produces the produces hormone that resembles the thyroid stimulating hormone. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I'll go back to <laughs> the first explanation because I never explained it well. Mm -hmm. you now you see now the functioning of the thyroid gland, mm -hmm. uh, like the normal physiology. Mm -hmm. There's the hypothalamus, which is in the head. Okay. And also there's a pituitary gland which is in the head and there's a thyroid gland, the three things. Mm -hmm. Now I find the, uh, the hypothalamus, it releases an hormone that is called thyrotropin releasing hormone. Mm -hmm. Then this hormone is sent now to the pituitary gland, mm -hmm. the pituitary gland to release thyroid stimulating hormone. Okay. Now this thyroid stimulating hormone is now sent to the thyroid gland. Mm -hmm. Once it's sent to the thyroid gland, it's now, it now signals the thyroid gland release more T3 and T4. Mm -hmm. You see, now that's how the body works in the negative and the positive okay. feedback. Now you find uh, for this disease, the Graves disease, mm -hmm. there's an hormone that is produced that resembles the thyroid stimulating hormone. Uh -huh. You know, the work of the thyroid stimulating hormone is to stimulate the thyroid and to produce T3 and, and T4. T4. Yeah. So in this state, you find uh, this hormone that resembles the thyroid stimulating hormone, it now comes and signals the thyroid produce more, more. but initially more. it's not supposed to produce more okay now it tends to produces in excess yeah produces in excess now it tends to enlarge okay yeah and why the name the grave disease the <laughs> is, <laughs> it because it's, is it because it's uh <laughs> chronic is it you know yeah. is it that disease that will take you to the grave or is it <laughs> i'm just curious about the name it's a very good name okay i can say it in a way like you see for example like when it's now acts on the thyroid stimulating hormone now there's another condition that is just a minor condition when you don't really manage it well it now goes to thyrotoxicosis now when these hormones are many in the body they become toxic to the body ah now that's where the name thyrotoxicosis comes from. Mm -hmm. So when thyrotoxicosis, now you start sweating, there is an increased heart rate, everything, your body is hyper, you feel like you're restless, you cannot sleep at night. Now when you don't really manage it and when now it becomes in excess, it's called a thyroid storm or mm. yeah, thyroid crisis, thyroid storm crisis. Mm -hmm. So in this condition, you find like now the body now is is a this now is a like threatening condition like now everything is super high the heart rate is beating high so this one can cause even a stroke can uh -huh. cause a coma 
Yeah. Okay. Oh, now it leads to the extreme. Yeah, the extremes. I get it now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have a picture. Yeah. Now, now uh, <laughs> still on Goita. Mm-hmm. We know we, we know for sure that it's the inflammation. Now would would see you would see it on someone's neck. Yeah, yeah, sure. So how um, what's the treatment like now? Once you have it, what's mm-hmm. the treatment for thyroid? Is it a surgery? Can mm-hmm. you live with it? Because I know some people usually have it, but they're told it's okay. Nothing needs to be done. You mm-hmm. know, just it's it it has no harm to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, let me explain that part that people say that it has no harm to you. Mm-hmm. Okay, this growth is painless. It once it becomes painful when it starts to press on the other areas around the around the throat. You see, there are many behind it. There's the parathyroid hormone. There's now the the other other organs which are in the throat. Now, when it grows and tends to enlarge, it now presses on even the nerves, the nerves and everything which are in the throat. Now, for a condition for a state like this, you can either do a surgery. Of which surgery you can either remove even if it's the right right lobe or the left lobe, or you can now there's a total total surgery that they remove the entire the entire gland. Gland. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Once the entire gland is removed, now you're given supplements that have got uh, the the thyroid hormones. Now but now you have to take it for for yeah, life. For life. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. there's <laughs> there's. It's helpful on one hand, but you yeah, know, there's yeah, also yeah. the repercussion mm. you know, that you have to consider if mm-hmm. you want to. So how would you advise someone for, for someone who's been told that it's actually okay to have it? Is it okay to have it really or will it have some after effects in future now maybe when it starts affecting other areas on the throat? Eventually it, uh, it will have an effect in the body. So it can even result to other conditions. Like initially you are not there. Mm-hmm. Like for example, when it goes to the extremes, it now can now result to a stroke. It can result to yeah. a patient going to a coma. Mm-hmm. It's c- it can also, like for the, that's the case of hypothyroidism. Like for the case of hypo, it can also cause a, a stroke in a way that, now find that the body is hypo. Like the, even the blood clotting is very easy. When now the blood clots, it goes to the brain, then, initial, then it now causes a stroke. Mm-hmm. You see now, the best thing that can be done is just the prevention. Mm-hmm. The prevention of this now is uh, once you see there's a growth, or you feel there's a growth, yeah. you should now go to, the, to a facility, go see a physician or a doctor, mm-hmm. then you can do the test. The test which can be done, is, uh, they test the hormones. The four key components of which is the thyroid, the T3, the T3, the T4, the thyroid stimulating hormone, and also the thyroid uh, thyroid releasing hormone. Mm-hmm. So these hormones are going to be tested and see where the problem is. Because you can find the problem is in the pituitary gland. The problem may be in the hypothalamus. The problem might be in the gland. Mm-hmm. Now, what you go to the facility, they now start to see where is the problem resulting from. Mm-hmm. And once so they see where the, the root of the problem is, now you can solve it from that state. Okay. Yeah. So it can actually be... Can the inflammation now be stopped now if it's just starting with the with some treatment? Yeah, if you start on treatment, it can be stopped. Mm-hmm. And some cases, uh, it accounts actually for three percent. I was doing some research. Mm-hmm. Uh, it accounts for three percent. The one that's are malignant, the one that are cancerous. It mm-hmm. beca- it can become cancerous. It can now result. It now can come as a result of cancer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you see, when the cancer cells are there, they'll tend not to multiply. Okay. Yeah. Once they multiply, they now make the thyroid to enlarge. Enlarge. When it's enlarged, it presses on the other the structures other that are in the throat. Okay. So there's one yeah. that can be non-cancerous, and yeah, then there can yeah, be yeah. one that's cancerous. Yeah. But can the non-cancerous lead to? Can it at some point be cancerous? No, 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 no. Okay. Once yeah. it's non-cancerous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it can be either okay. benign. All malignant. Benign or malignant. Yeah. Malignant is the one that's yeah, cancerous, sure, right? Sure. Mm. All right. Now we we're, we're getting knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's a broad topic. Yeah, um. it's it's quite broad. So mm-hmm. um, that's the treatment. Now, how do you avoid it for, for people like us? Now we don't have mm-hmm. goiter. Now, how do you ensure that you through your diet mm-hmm. and whatever else that mm-hmm. you can do that you prevent yourself from getting goiter? Okay. For this, I can say it into two spaces. Like the major cause is iodine. Mm-hmm. Like there are, s- there are majority of the people, like the preference <coughs> of the people who live in areas that have got less iodine, uh, their percentage uh, to get this disease is mm-hmm. 15%. 
like let's say in Nairobi, yeah. it can like let's say we are like three million people, mm -hmm. it can really affect a larger population, mm. accounting from fifteen to twenty percent. Okay. So that's why like for the people are living in areas where iodine is less, I can recommend to them they take iodine. So yeah. in Nairobi there's less iodine. No, 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 I was just using as, oh, as an okay. example <laughs> to show how much uh, it's of an impact. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Areas where there's less iodine, mm -hmm. but what do you mean by areas where there's less iodine? How do you tell, mm -hmm. you know, how an area has iodine? Mm -hmm. Is it not in the food that you eat? Yeah, it's in the food that you eat. Okay. Like for example, the the easiest source of iodine is salt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why people uh, say that uh, the disease that uh, the disease is just as a result of. Kuli chumvi, uh, or there's less intake of salt. Yeah. So, like for this, you can take uh, foods that are rich in iodine. Uh -huh. Like, for example, for example, just for an uh, easier thing, you can take salt, iodinized salt to be precise. Mm -hmm. It has got iodine. And you can also take iodine supplements. You can also take drugs like levothyroxine, mm -hmm. which have got uh, iodine levels. Iodine. So, basically, it's just to take, uh, to elevate the, the intake of iodine. But this is the case in which you find that iodine is the cause things resulting to, mm -hmm. to goiter. And then it's uh, maybe, you just find the cause. Once you find the cause, you can now find the management. But for the case of iodine, you now take foods that are rich in iodine, mm -hmm. but not take now excess. Alright, yeah. so don't <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> take foods rich in iodine, mm -hmm. but don't take in excess. Yeah, yeah. So which foods are rich in iodine? I can say milk, there's oh, cassava. Milk is rich in iodine. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Didn't know. And also, it's it's also rich, rich in calcium. Mm -hmm. But also, yeah, because I don't. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, you can also take a, uh, let me say, uh, milk. There's cassava. Mm -hmm. There's also soy, so soya beans. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So those yeah. are some of the things mm -hmm. that are rich in iodine. Apart yeah. from now, the salt itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now <laughs> there's usually this thing about you know people say that you know um salt is bad you shouldn't take salt so some people have mm -hmm. take food that is saltless you yeah. know and, mm -hmm. and some people it's out of some condition that they have yeah. that they're being told to avoid salt mm -hmm. but now will that be detrimental to your health now that mm -hmm. salt is essential now with, you know with the thyroid gland and everything else that you've just explained uh, for that case, you can say hypertension, pressure, water pressure syndrome. Yes, pressure <laughs> specifically. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, let me say in this form, uh, there's uh, different forms of iodine. Mm -hmm. Like these people are like, uh, if you, you are restricted to use the amount of intake of, uh, of uh, iodine, mm -hmm. you can take medications that have got, uh, uh, that have got a pure form of iodine mm -hmm. that cannot uh, affect the normal physiology of the body. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so it's just a mm -hmm. matter of finding uh, something that has iodine. Yeah, now for yeah. people that mm -hmm. just, people that are not sick, mm -hmm. that don't have any condition, mm -hmm. or just have a, you know, notion mm -hmm. that salt is bad, mm -hmm. how much, <laughs> how, how much should they, you know, what's the importance of, you know, mm -hmm. having salt in mm -hmm. their diet, or, or how much quantity of salt should they just make sure they have, at mm -hmm. least? Uh, for that, it's very broad, because uh, kill them to the test. <laughs> the taste will get different, but you should not take in excess. You don't feel like hey, too many mingi. Oh, okay. you should not take that. Uh, but at salt to yeah, taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what? for for a person maybe an hypertensive patient, uh, I'm a someone who doesn't want to <coughs> take the salt. Mm -hmm. You can take other foods like for the case of cassava, <laughs> and yeah. for the case of so soy soybeans and milk. They can and milk. They can also help in a. Increasing the amount of so it's like they're taking mm. the iodine indirectly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good mm. point. So yeah. what about now the raw salt? Mm -hmm. It's one thing to cook with salt. Yeah. I don't know if there's a difference between now cooking mm -hmm. uh, with salt mm -hmm. and then now adding raw salt to food because some people now have ex love mm. salt excessively. Mm -hmm. If it's fries, you know, mm. they just want yeah. fries with salt. <laughs> yeah, Nothing. Sure, it's sure. just the salt mm -hmm. bit. Uh, if it's nyamachoma, mm -hmm. you know, the foods, mm -hmm. you just want them to taste salt. <laughs> so how, how, how is this? How, how bad is raw salt or how mm. okay is it? Mm, I cannot equate it as uh, how bad or how good it is. Mm. What I can say is just take moderate because there is some ukikula ata utasikia hili ni kona chumvi mingi ama ikona chumvi kidogo. You mm -hmm. just take it in a way that it's uh, 
quite uh, within the normal ranges. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so it's not bad. By it's, uh, by the roast of itself is not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not bad. So you, some people, you feel, say you have to, if you want to take salt, just cook mm -hmm. with it. If it's not mm -hmm. there, the food do not add salt, <laughs> roast no. salt to it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But there are some cases you cannot avoid, like using salt, like for example, the cases of chips. Yeah. You have to use the salt. <laughs> but as much as, as possible, you can just uh, avoid and use the main food. Like for the same case as sugar, as they say, sugar, see, vizuri, kulamba, sukari. Yeah, but yeah. But you yeah. better use it in tea, cook it with the tea, than adding it into, onto the tea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, amazing conversation. Mm -hmm. So, is there any other thing that people need? We've talked about now the courses mm -hmm. of uh, of goita, and it's related to the mm -hmm. iodine level. Mm -hmm. And this we can add through our diet. Yeah, you yeah, you've yeah. mentioned the foods that we can eat, and even with the salt, the normal salt that we can have, uh, the treatment, the treatment of it, you know, could be mm -hmm. such can be surgery mm -hmm. just to remove it, mm -hmm. and can also be through. Um, through, you know, early detection, then you can treat it, right? Yeah, yeah. And then now, what we have not talked about is if it's cancerous now, mm -hmm. you know, what, what is the treatment like? How, what are the survival chances? You know, when you mention cancer, it's, mm -hmm. it's a big deal for, yeah, for most deal. people. Mm -hmm. So for someone who's just been told that you have, uh, you know, is it thyroid cancer? Or mm -hmm. would yeah. It? yeah, so how, how is the treatment like? Okay, for that we go to another case. Now, for example, a person has got uh, the thyroid cancer. For this case, now you'll just, first, first of all, they take a biopsy, a sample from the thyroid gland, mm -hmm. to go and test and see the severity of the cancer. Mm -hmm. Then they now stage it. If it's stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four, mm -hmm. then of that they have got A or B if it's just severe. For mm -hmm. example, stage, uh, now once you've staged the cancer, you can now determine the treatment modality. You can either do radiotherapy, you can either do chemotherapy, or mm -hmm. you can now either go to surgery to remove it. But in most of the cases, uh, they just do the surgery. If, it's, if it is from stage two, they do the surgery. After now the thyroid has been removed, they now do the radiotherapy. Okay. Just in case... There are cells. Yeah, there are cells that are there. Now they are being killed by the radio, radiotherapy. Mm -hmm, okay. Yeah. For someone who doesn't know, what's the difference between radiotherapy and chemotherapy? Oh, radiotherapy is now, uh, let me say, they use the radioactive rays mm -hmm. to now, in basic terms, to burn the cells, okay. to kill the cells. Yeah. And for chemotherapy, now these are drugs. The difference between this one, this is radiation, and this other one is drugs. Oh, chemo is purely yeah, drugs? Yeah, drugs. Okay. Yeah. Are there cases where people um, do both radiotherapy mm -hmm. and yeah, chemotherapy? Yeah, 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 they can do Okay, yeah. so it w mm. it depends with <laughs> what level of <laughs> yeah, cancer, yeah, 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 but yeah. it's actually salvageable. Yeah, the situation yeah, sure. can be salvaged. Mm -hmm. All right, what is it that you might say when we talk about goita that you'd want to add to this conversation for the viewers to know? Mm -hmm. Maybe for this case, I can say uh, uh, it's a major thing that people mm -hmm. really don't take much concern and to eat. Because mm -hmm. now the shift has been to other conditions, but these are uh, conditions that really affect you. And most of the people really don't know that it's just the, the thyroid that is affecting the body. Because for example, let me say now a disclaimer, mm -hmm. like for the cases of, uh, so you said the function of the thyroid hormone, mm -hmm. it has got an effect even in, the, in all the system. Like let me say in the case of the reproductive system, you find like someone maybe it can also cause, uh, it can also cause impotence. Because uh, in this case, you find now the, the activity of the bodies are not regulated well. The metabolism of the body, the functions of other hormones. Now it can also result to other conditions. Because mm -hmm. now basically, metabolism is everything in the body. Our body yeah. needs to grow. Our body needs to develop. For example, like in the, chi in the children, it can cause cranitism. And for this case, now it's a condition that should be taken seriously. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Right, because it's 
it can lead to other conditions. Other conditions, other major conditions. It's, it's a small thing, but it can, <laughs> yeah, you know, can know. Have, have major <laughs> effects on your mm -hmm. body. Yeah, so sure. sometimes even when you have some minor things, it could, you know, it, the, the root cause could just be yeah, thyroid. Sure. And we can, you should look into that. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I think we have really exhausted the conversation, <laughs> yeah, this yeah, conversation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there are things that, apart from, uh, you know, na being a nurse mm -hmm. that you do mm -hmm. in the innovation world, and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're talking off camera, and yeah, I'm saying, yeah, you know, how much yeah. I love innovation. Yeah, so yeah. you have innovation in the healthcare. You mind telling us a little bit about that? Okay, yeah. Currently, I'm working on my startup company. Mm -hmm. It's a company that deals with innovation and inventions uh, using technology, okay. uh -huh. more so in t the field of artificial intelligence and machine learning. Okay. So basically, these are coming up with systems that are, that are smart, that they can do things that humans cannot really do well. Mm -hmm. Not like you're eliminating, eliminating <laughs> jobs. <laughs> basically, you're just trying to make the, the world to be a better place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you specifically, you have decided to delve in to, into healthcare because that's where your your love yeah, is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So why, why? <laughs> oh, maybe I'm I'm getting ahead of myself. Mm -hmm. I should have asked why in the field of yeah. healthcare. In the field of healthcare, like you find, uh, for example, one of the projects that I'm, I'm working currently on. Let me just focus on that one project so mm -hmm. that you can get the better view of it. Mm -hmm. Like for example, if you take a client to the hospital they have to be put a brannula in case they need an IV access. Mm -hmm. Now for the case of finding these uh, IV right. access, it's, it becomes a challenge. You find a majority of the people can say, to mechoka kudungo, dungo, like dungo they, have to look, <laughs> yeah, yeah. they have to look for uh, an IV access like for over an hour. Like find for the case of the people, maybe it's say... When you say IV are, access, you mean yeah. the vein? Yeah, the vein. Uh -huh. Now I've come up with a, a innovative... Actually, it's an invention of this now like that. Ah. But it now it's placed on the arm where you went to get the IV access. It scans the, air, the area. Then it finds the best vein. It fixes the brannula. It's, it's less painful. There's less infection. It's mm -hmm. fast. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, it solves a lot of problems. It, now, uh -huh. I've come up with other ideas. Like currently, I have over 100 projects that wow. I want to venture into mm -hmm. probably in the next future <laughs> yeah, to solve major problems in the healthcare system and also the society at large. Wow, this is amazing. Do you have anything that you're working on to deal with this particular topic that you're talking about? Going to <laughs> <laughs> or it's still in the works? Ah, it's Not still yet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is really wonderful. Mm -hmm. And especially when you're talking about an invention, something that has not been there before. Yeah, yeah, sure. So for, for you, it's coming from a place of mm -hmm. knowledge because you have seen, you have yeah, experienced yeah, in the healthcare yeah, yeah. and you know that you know, we could adjust here and here. And mm -hmm. innovation and invention is all about seeing a problem and coming up with a solution, solution right? Yeah, sure. So what would you tell innovators like mm -hmm. yourself mm -hmm. out there that have brilliant ideas, but it's the implementation that's a problem? Okay, what I can say about that, find the right people to talk to. Mm -hmm. There are many innovation hubs, like for the like of Chandaria, iHub. Yeah. There are many innovation hubs. Mm -hmm. Just go talk to them, open up the ideas to them, they have got social, so maybe I can be talking to someone who is there in the machine and is like, I cannot access Nairobi and stuff. Yeah. They have got their website. Uh -huh. Just go and uh, send an info about, uh, about your project and about your everything. Mm -hmm. But maybe if you cannot really do that, maybe you can contact me. I'll maybe help you in a way that you can access those uh, innovation hubs that they can be really of good help to them. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. Now that you have given us that access, where can people reach you? Maybe on your socials if they want to access you. And either of these matters, when mm -hmm. we talk about healthcare, mm -hmm. you know, go to if they need more information mm -hmm. or, or whatever, mm -hmm. and even the innovation side, where can yeah. people get you? And if you have any other thing to say, mm -hmm. this is your camera. Okay, you can find me on my socials. Uh, all my socials is Lazarus Nyamwanda. And also, maybe if you want to get me personally, uh, my phone number is 0708. 398-077. You can give me a call or text me via WhatsApp, then you we'll get to link up. Okay. Yeah, sure. Great. Thank you very much, yeah, uh, Lazarus, so much. for coming on and yeah, sharing yeah. such amazing insights yeah, on sure. this particular mm -hmm. health issue that mm -hmm. we have that mm -hmm. we don't have, it hasn't been focused on yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So thank you for highlighting that for us. You're welcome. All right. Mm -hmm. So that has been Lazarus Nyamwanda, who's a nurse.
So, yeah, and he's been talking to us about goita, the impact of diet on goita, and why we need to really take care of ourselves and focus on this uh, issue that has not been highlighted as much as other, you know, diseases have been. I hope you've enjoyed it and you've taken something from it. This uh, is where we put a close on discussion on uh, lifestyle, but uh, we still have music coming on and Grasha Maingi is there for that. So let's take a short break and then we'll be right back. Mm -hmm.